Oh, hello, <laughs> Clyde here. Pixel Pro displays. Hey, um, we're doing some testing, and uh, we want to make sure these work the right way. So, if you want to learn how to do that easily from X Lights, why don't you uh, watch the rest of this video and uh, maybe pick up a thing or two? More information to come. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Clyde here. Thank you for joining us in this Tips and Tricks video. So uh, a couple nights ago we did a webinar on making some props work from x Lights, and I wanted to do this in a short form versus the long form that we did in the webinar. The webinar has a, a lot more specifics that are added into it that really give you uh, much more detailed information. This video is going to be as short and sweet as I can make it without me talking as much. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get started right in Windows. Um, right here, I'm going to go into Windows and I'm going to search for network. And you saw me plugging in the network cable. That network cable is connected directly to the back end of this computer. Now, whenever I plug that in, I plug that into a switch. Now, that switch has two wires connected to the two controllers that are right behind me. Just keep that in mind. That's already hooked up. That's already done and set up. So that is your pre-setup. You have to have that done first. What we're going to do now is now we're going to go in and set up the Ethernet dongle on the back of your computer. And to do that, we're going to go into this network status. We're going to go into change adapter options here. It's going to open up our network connections. Now, this is wireless and this is wired. Uh, spoiler alert, if you have a wireless network uh, router that your show is connected to, some of the uploads may not work. If you are running from a laptop and it has a USB dongle like this little guy right here, the uploads from controller from x lights may not work. Ask me how I know. Watch the big video, and I talk a whole lot more about this in detail. So what we're going to start with, it, with is the Ethernet. We're going to double-click on our Ethernet connection because we are a wired connection. Your Ethernet status box will open up. We'll go into Properties. We're going to look for TCP IP version 4, Internet Protocol. We're going to click on the Properties button, and we're going to use the following IP address for this computer. My Falcon and my show network runs on the 192... 192.168.1 network and I'm going to assign my computer the dot one as the main computer as the main output so uh, then we're going to click into the subnet mask and allow the default setting of 255 to fill in for us and from this point we're just going to click OK that's all the network that I need to know I don't need, need to know anything else uh, I am just running output to lights to these props, to these two controllers. And they're, they're on this own little network over here, right? So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and close out our network. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into X lights and we're going to add two controllers into our X lights layout. Now, another thing I want to share with you is that we are running this, this X lights layout. Uh, if I go to the controller tab here, you'll see this is under, uh, X lights controller tab. This is a, a way for me to just do this outside of my show directory so that I don't mess anything up in my show. Uh, I just want to quick and dirty get into these controllers and just really do this quickly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my one controller. Now there's two ways to add a controller. The first way I'm going to show you is add Ethernet. And I'm going to click that button, and now I'm going to add in my Falcon. That's the first one. That's 192.168.1.50. That's the IP address on that controller. Now, x -Lights needs to know a little bit more information on your controller. And if your controller is listed in x -Lights, I welcome you to open up the vendor dropdown and look for your controller to fill in all of the information. Now, in my case, I have a Falcon. It is a model number F16 V3. And then I have two expansion boards connected to my controller. X lights now knows exactly what's connected to it. Bam, it's done. Now, the second thing that we need to do here is let's give it a couple universes. It's only running that star. I only need one universe, but I'm going to give it a crazy universe number like, I don't know, start universe of, let's say, 14. That way you can know when we do the upload uh, that it changed because I've uploaded to these numerous times. 
like I said, we're only using one prop off of this, so we only need one universe. I'm not adding more extra universes. There's no reason to. Uh, and, and that's the same instance for you. You're only running one prop. It may only take two universes of pixels. You don't need to like do a complete, like, I'm going to have 30 props on this thing. Um, so with that, let's get the second controller in here. We're going to use Discovery. Now, I have a Pixlite 16 that's set up over here behind my right shoulder, right here in this little box right here. And hopefully this little Discover box... This little discover will pick it up. And now it says default nickname and its IP address. Now, see, this is what's nice about discovery. x -Lights will discover the Falcon. Um, but I wanted to show you that this being a Pixlight 16, that it could pick it up as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the Pixlight 16, it, it identified right away that it had uh, IP address 100 in there. It identified right away what model it was. So it filled in all that vendor information for me. But I'm going to tell it, hey, you know what, start at Universe 2 and because we're going to run, this is a 550 pixel star, and then this is, or snowflake, and then this is a 200 pixel snowflake. That's uh, 5, 6, 7, 50, 750 pixels. Let's give it, I don't know, let's give it eight universes. Uh, yeah, eight universes. That, that should work, right? I don't know. I'm guessing. So universe two through nine. That's what's going to get uploaded to that pixelite. Now, the other thing that we need to know, that after we're done with this, we'll go ahead and click save. The other thing that we need to know is what models we're using. So there's a couple different ways. If you want to learn more ways to download and bring in models, uh, then you can do so by watching the webinar. Uh, for game's sake and for speed's sake, we're going to download these two models here from x uh, Download. I have the 47-inch uh, Boscoyo Ice Princess. I'm going to insert that model. Don't, um, if you want to learn more about what's going on here, you can watch the video for that. Again, this is quick and dirty. And also something important for you to know is that there are three outputs that are running this controller or this uh, from this controller from this snowflake to this controller. And then one more output for the big uh, or the smaller version of the Ice Princess. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to assign the Ice Princess to the Pixlite. I do this by using a start channel, clicking on this dialog box, universe number, I select the controller that it's going to, which is the dot .100. It will auto default to the lowest universe channel to start with, and then I'm gonna click OK. Now, if I bring the second Ice Princess in, the little one, it's gonna chain the model to the back end of this. So what I wanna do is that let's set up our outputs. We have three outputs, as I said. We, we need to tell x Lights, hey, Give me three outputs for this custom model. If you're using a regular x Lights model, they don't all do this. Custom models do. More on the video if you watch the webinar series. So there's three strings. Click the checkbox. String number one is 1 through 200. String number two is pixel number 201 to 401, 400. And then 401 through 550. Those are how the outputs are in the uh, on the controller and set up for my snowflake. Uh, we'll go ahead and click save and then we'll go ahead and download the next model which is the little baby princess right there the 23 inch uh, insert model here again you can learn more by clicking on those groups uh, in, in the other video. And then this has only one output of 200 pixels. So what we'll do here is we'll just leave this alone. So now what, what x Lights did was it chained the model from this one to this one. I'm going to go back into controllers and I'm going to go over here to visualize. And I'm going to click and drag the princess from from over here. Not, oh, that's the wrong one. The 47. And you'll see that the first four outputs are now dedicated on the Pixlite. And now the fourth output is going to be dedicated to this princess model. That's it. She's all set up. So now we have to build a star. Now to do that, we'll do this quickly using the star model. There is 90 pixels in my star. Let's put that in. There are, uh, down here is layer count. There's three layers in this star. This is from Boscoyo. Um, the inside layer we'll start with is 20, and then the next one is 30, and then the next one is 40. And that takes care of our model. It's ready. The only thing is, is we need to tell x Lights where we started it and how we built it. So let's go ahead. I know that I started it in the top, in the center, 
and I'm on the inside, and I'm pretty sure I went clockwise. That's typically how I do it. From the back, it looks like it's counterclockwise, but looking at the front, it's clockwise. So, but we'll test that. So, so far, we're rolling right along. The last thing we need to do is we need to go back to controller tab. Let's open up uh, our Falcon. Go to the visualizer here. Oh, it doesn't show up. Let's go assign this to the Falcon. I'm going to do that really quick by clicking on Start Channel because it chained it to that princess. Let's click on Universe here, and I'm just going to select the Falcon, and I'm going to click OK. So now if we go back over here, we can see the visualize. You can see, oh, look, there's the star. We'll pop it right on the first output of the Falcon. Now we're going to save. Then from here, we're going to do our controller upload. And to do this, we, we can do this with the Falcon. It's rather easy. And same thing with the uh, same thing with the Pixlite 16, the Avitech. We'll just go ahead with the Avitech. We don't have an upload input. Um, we just have the upload output. And when we click the upload output, we'll look down here, see how it says upload is completed. Now, uh, if we go into the Advitech Assistant, we can see that we can do a refresh adapter, search, find it, and go click on the controller tab with the advanced screen. And you'll see here, output number two has universe two, start channel one, and it's uploaded this configuration absolutely flawlessly. From this point here, next we're going to do the Falcon upload. And now with the Falcon, it's a little different. If you use these buttons down here, click the upload input. x Slice is now sending the upload, the Falcon upload, and it says it's completed. And then we'll do the output, meaning the output that the star is on. So now the star is officially, well, we, we can check this, open it up, and it opened up here on this screen way over here let me pull it over so here's the falcon let's look at the string ports so you can see star universe 14 which is what we set it to and 90 pixels okay great right no problem so here's the last thing that we can notice you can see this little green led here that means that we have a solid connection to those controllers and we're good to go last step last step are you ready we're going to click create new sequence animation done now, in x lights we're going to have all three of our models. We're just going to grab our uh, bars uh, effect and lay it down. Sometimes it's easy if you just do uh, put click up here in the timing grid. And I, I like to use shortcut keys. I use the B for bars. And you just put the model and effect down, or the effect down on the model. And I'm going to put red, green, and blue. And hopefully, when we click output to lights, you'll see that the ice princess is clearly glowing. Now that's that's at 100% intensity. We didn't we didn't change intensity. I'm just going to go to the color palette and, and dim it down so you can see it. Now, I know it looks like it's going sideways. It's just how it's sitting. It is going straight up and down. Do not pay that any mind. If you click on the bars effect and you use your arrow keys, you can click up and down and oh, look, now it's on the star. That looks to be working correctly. It's going in an upward direction. Uh, if you can't see it on the screen here, maybe I'll brighten it up just a little bit so you can see it there. And then if we scroll on down to there is the Ice Princess, and it's outputting to lights beautifully, and everything is just working fine. Now, what about if we turn the direction of the bars? See, this is not just the test to get your controller to or get, get your uploads and so forth. The, the challenge is, is does it actually go left and right? And what you want to do is you want to change your direction of your bars to go left. And now you can see, if I brighten this up so you can see a little better on the screen, there you go. See how it's going in a left from right to left? Now, it should be doing the exact same thing behind me, which it is. So you can see uh, on, on, the, um, on the layout right here, you see the bars going left and you see everything going this way pretty sure so we can test that with all of them so there you go there's the bars it's a little harder to see it on that one I'll turn the brightness down on that maybe I'll add a black one in there there we go now you can clearly see the bar going through it and yes it is it is matching that same pattern again it's just a little cockeyed because it's hanging from the ceiling there and then let's go check the star the star is doing the exact thing that you see that it is supposed to be doing right up there on that screen that we have been showing you with the uh, with the model preview so that was a lot
Well, folks, that's going to wrap it up here. Thank you for joining us in this Tips and Tricks video. This is Clyde signing out. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done yet, so hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget, we have an awesome Facebook community, which you should totally join down in the comments. There's a video, a link to our Facebook page, and you can join it there. That's Pixel Pro University. And if you have any questions, you can leave them there, or you can leave them in the comments down below of this video. You never know what question you ask might get its own dedicated video and uh, create more content to help other folks who are struggling with the X-Lite software and the RGB hobby in general. Finally, folks, if you like what we do here and you appreciate what we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, consider supporting us by becoming a PPD Sequence Club member. Each and every month, we create one awesome sequence, and you also get a choice of two others if you don't care for the new one that we create in the month. You also get access to vendor discounts for affiliate vendors across the hobby to save you hundreds or thousands of dollars on your hobby related purchases that on things you're going to order anyway, like Coro products and so forth. So guys, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks and take care. So let's have a little bit of fun. Arches. Bam. Oh no, 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 no. Let's let's put this let's put this on like this. Per default. I think that will do. Yeah, that one works good.